Okay, continuing my theme in ultra widescreen. I'm in Horizon 5, also doing the fake ultra widescreen, and we're gonna do the uh, weekly challenge, just like last week. And this time, this week it's in the 2012 GTR Black Edition. So. The first challenge after actually owning and driving this car is to win a street race. So we got to travel to that street race, which is currently 3.78 miles away. And I'm not going to make you sit through with that drive. So hold on, we'll be right back. And here we are at the race. And obviously since I started in first place, my difficulty settings are not particularly high on this. Actually, I think they may be very low. Whoa! And there's a reason for that. Rubin's racing, right? Get a little wheel view going. Whoa. Maybe I'll wheel drive, but it's not an off-road vehicle. Not where I meant to go there. That's where I meant to go. That was an unfortunate place for a truck. Now you get a ride on the hood. I think my car's gotten a little dented up here. Ooh, a little more dented up now. <laughs> and a little more dented up. Let's get back on the road here. Now that's realistic. Man, it looks like I'm gonna win. Who'd have thought? Finished first. Okay, the next challenge is to earn six stars at danger signs. That should be really difficult. But right now we're just gonna have some off-road time in the GTR to get over to the closest danger sign and then we get to see the GTR fly 
Okay, who's ready to see if a GTR can fly? I guess I am. <laughs> Should be interesting, or not. You have arrived at your destination. And into the water. Yay! Now let's see if we can do it a little better this time. Probably not. <laughs> That was a fail. Well, at least we got the ramp this time. Okay, rather than beating a dead horse, we'll see if we can get some serious air on a different danger sign. And jump into the stadium. That's a fail. Apparently we need a lot more speed. Let's see if we can do it this time. And that would still be a no. So, as we all know, if you've got a problem, the best solution is to throw a whole bunch of money at it. So, after $82,000 82, in upgrades, he's going to hit me, isn't he? <laughs> and let me see here nearly doubling the horsepower and slimming down by a little over 700 pounds let's see if that fixed the problem and it looks like it did we cleared the stadium but no soccer ball for us. Okay, the final challenge in this is absolutely ridiculous. I thought I was reading it wrong. It says that I need to smash three speed cameras. I thought that meant I needed to run through the speed zones or, or the uh, speed cameras and, and post the speed. No, it actually wants me to smash them like running into the posts which I've done twice already on the same same one just for fun but I gotta say that's a pretty ridiculous challenge but if they insist we're gonna go find a camera to smash I do believe one's coming up Turn sharp left. I want. I just want to hit a camera. Turn there it is. Left. Smash the camera. And just so you see, it does show complete. I did not actually run through any of those speed zones or speed cameras or whatever. I literally just smashed them. That's pretty crazy. And now that I'm done using this car for anything even remotely useful, I do believe. It's time to do dumb things to it. Uh, but as it's still all-wheel drive... Oop, that's not where I meant to go. We're going to have to solve that issue. I mean, you can drift an all-wheel drive car, but... Rear-wheel drive just works better. So we'll get that done. I'll do a few other little mods on here, and I'll be right back with you. So now we're going to drift this, I think, maybe, who knows, we'll see. Or just running into walls, I'm good at that too.
that steering wheel locking up in those very short distances is really annoying. Since my wheel is obviously not doing that. In 400 yards, turn right. Let's just get rid of that altogether. That's annoying me. Spin in circles. Recalculating route in two hundred yards, turn right. I wonder if the wet pavement is actually causing this to do this, but I don't know. It's turn probably around. just me, or the car, so. or it's me. <laughs> Let's be realistic. I'm not a fan of trying to drift in. Horizon 5, or any of the Horizon games for that matter. At least not with a wheel. With a controller, it's a little better. But. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty sad. You have arrived at your destination. Well, technically, I drifted it, right. got through a drift zone and everything. I mean, I spun out three times in a very short zone, but... Uh, no. Okay, so I'm done trying to drift this thing. And I think I'm done with Horizon 5 for the week. I'll see you next time.